NASA's Voyager 1 spacecraft, which holds the current record for the most distant object ever built by humans, has fascinated individuals worldwide for almost five decades. Since its launch, Voyager 1 has sent important data from the farthest reaches of outer space, improving human comprehension of the universe. However, the probe's recent broadcasts have demonstrated anomalies that are unusual and have left specialists perplexed. These enigmatic signals have ignited intense discussions, causing the research community to investigate whether these irregularities are merely technical flaws or indications of something far more extraordinary, possibly even from another planet. Join us as we investigate these baffling messages and uncover what might be concealed in the vastness of the cosmos. The intrinsic human desire to solve mysteries has long fueled our quest for space exploration. This curiosity opened the way for ambitious initiatives like Pioneer 10 and Pioneer 11, some of the most courageous space missions of their time. On August 20th, 1977, the launch of Voyager 2 from NASA's Kennedy Space Center marked the beginning of a revolutionary era in space exploration. Soon after, on September 5, 1977, Voyager 1 was dispatched into space, embarking on a journey that would lead it to the outer planets, significantly altering both its trajectory and scientific findings. The probe, with an approximate mass of 721 g, or about the size of a small car, moved in different directions at varying speeds. On December 15, 1977, a significant milestone was achieved. Voyager 1 outperformed its twin in terms of the distance covered, due to their divergent paths. Voyager 1 has since played a crucial role in enhancing our perception of space and contributing. Discoveries that have transformed our understanding of the universe. Before delving into some of its recent revolutionary findings, let's revisit several of its earlier key accomplishments. In 1979, Positioned roughly 265 million kilometers from Earth, Voyager 1 captured high-resolution images of Jupiter. By January of that year, it had logged a respectable 100 hours of study and produced a time-lapse sequence depicting Jupiter's rotation. This set of 3,750 images provided unprecedented insights into the planet's agitated atmosphere and intricate details. Additionally, Voyager 1 discovered a previously unidentified ring around Jupiter and uncovered two previously unknown moons, significantly enhancing our knowledge of the gas giant's intricate system. To avoid colliding with Titan, one of Saturn's moons, the probe performed several navigational adjustments. Subsequently, the mission shifted its focus beyond the solar system's planets as the spacecraft was redirected into interstellar space, traveling at a remarkable rate of 325 million kilometers per year. In January 1990, Voyager 1 began its assignment to explore interstellar space, moving forward beyond the boundaries of our solar system. During this phase, it accomplished several exceptional feats, such as locating four new moons, Mimas, Enceladus, Tethys, and Rhea, and capturing some of the best-known images from the outer limits of the solar system. On February 14, 1990, located Approximately 6 billion kilometers from the Sun, Voyager 1 took the iconic Family Portrait, a panoramic collection of images of the inner planets. This compilation of 60 photographs was added to the probe's extensive gallery, which already featured hundreds of images from its close encounters. Voyager 2 simultaneously achieved remarkable milestones. On Neptune, it measured wind speeds that exceeded 2100 km approximately 1300 men OS, the fastest atmospheric currents ever recorded in the solar system. Neptune's largest moon, Triton, was also observed, where temperatures plummeted to a frigid 391 degree, 235 degree, placing it among the coldest locations in the solar system. Triton exhibited signs of icy explosions that released nitrogen gas and revealed frozen debris up to five kilometer high fascinating new aspects of its geology. These extraordinary discoveries significantly broadened our understanding of the diverse and dynamic conditions in the outer regions of the solar system. The influence of Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 has truly changed the world. Their findings unveiled 
previously concealed characteristics of Jupiter and Saturn's moons, features that once were thought to be geologically inactive. This new evidence redefined those beliefs. Voyager 2, in particular, made history as the only spacecraft to reach, close to both Neptune and Uranus. In an unprecedented success, NASA used a series of innovative strategies to extend the lifespans of these groundbreaking projects, like powering down non-essential components to reduce energy expenditures. The undertaking is projected to continue, until 2030, marking the conclusion of a remarkable chapter for the teams who dedicated themselves to this mission. The construction of Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 exemplified advanced design and engineering, designed to rotate slowly. The probes reduced motion blur in their images taken while traveling. Even before reaching the outer planets, the spacecraft began transmitting detailed visuals of Jupiter, unveiling its swirling clouds and the well-known Great Red Spot, a colossal storm that has piqued scientists' interest for decades. One of the most exciting findings was the discovery of active volcanoes on Io, a moon of Jupiter. Instruments aboard the spacecraft picked up peculiar readings from the moon, later validated by images revealing massive volcanic plumes and a violently reshaped surface. One eruption on Io was found to be 1,000 times as powerful as Mount St. Helens, blanketing an area nearly the size of France. As their voyages continued, both spacecraft were gradually powered down to conserve fuel before entering interstellar space. Strikingly, they didn't capture images of Mercury or Mars due to technical constraints. NASA later launched additional noteworthy missions, including Pioneer 10, Pioneer 11, and New Horizons. On February 17, 1998, New Horizons surpassed Pioneer 11 to become Earth's most distant spacecraft. Nevertheless, Voyager 1 continued its journey for an additional 14 years before formally entering interstellar space on August 25, 2012, a pivotal milestone. A key factor in the success of these missions was the strategic use of gravitational slingshot maneuvers which accelerated the spacecraft toward their goals while reducing fuel consumption. Rather than depending entirely on propulsion systems, they harnessed planetary gravity to gain velocity and alter their courses. This technique enabled them to span vast distances with minimal fuel use. As Voyager 1 approached Jupiter, the planet's immense gravity accelerated the spacecraft. Precision was essential to avoid dangerous shifts in speed or trajectory. These gravitational boosts enabled the probes to expertly traverse the solar system. Voyager 2 utilized gravitational pulls from Jupiter and Saturn to propel itself toward Uranus and Neptune, validating the efficiency of this navigation method. Reflecting on these extraordinary initiatives, the scientific community eagerly awaits additional information from the recent, unusual transmissions detected by Voyager 1. These spacecraft continue to function far beyond the established boundaries of the solar system, probing enigmatic planets like Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Voyager 1's time-lapse sequences vividly documented ten eruptions on Jupiter and revealed new satellites, enhancing our understanding of the outer planets and continuing to inspire wonder in the scientific community and the world. Previously unidentified, a ring that surrounds the planet, these revelations made a significant contribution to our understanding of the Jovian system. Similarly to Voyager 1, four additional moons orbiting Saturn, Mimas, Enceladus, Tethys, and Rhea were discovered, in addition to providing stunning images of the planet and its rings. These images shine light on their complex structures. The mission's expeditions to Uranus and Neptune yielded critical observations about their atmospheres and satellites, improving our understanding of the solar system's distant territories. After finishing their planetary flybys, both probes set course into interstellar space, where they continue collecting important scientific information. This ongoing investigation expands our perspective on the outer reaches of our solar neighborhood as we await new developments regarding Voyager 1's distinctive emissions and their implications for our understanding of the incredible journeys through the cosmos. These probes continue to inspire both researchers and enthusiasts globally. Their accomplishments remain foundational in expanding human knowledge and pushing the boundaries of space science.
The Voyager programs have provided previously unheard-of glimpses of our solar system in regions far beyond, offering iconic imagery and valuable scientific results. In addition to their actual contributions, the spacecraft carry a symbolic artifact, a message designed to portray Earth to potential civilizations from other planets. The Golden Record contains 55 greetings, pieces of music in various languages, cultures, and natural sounds, such as thunder and whale songs. This interstellar communique serves as humanity's hopeful attempt to connect with intelligent life beyond Earth. Voyagers 1 and 2 were equipped with a variety of scientific instruments that significantly advanced our comprehension of space. These included magnetometers, plasma wave sensors, and imaging tools, all of which supplied critical data about space environments. The mystery was deciphered by the magnetometers. They revealed the magnetic fields of Jupiter, Uranus, Saturn, and Neptune, and how these fields interact with their surroundings. Plasma wave detectors clarified the influence of solar winds on planetary atmospheres. One of the mission's standout achievements was tracing the line that separates the heliosphere, e.e., vast region populated by solar particles and electromagnetic fields that envelopes our solar system. As Voyager 1 approached this boundary, it witnessed a shift from solar wind to interstellar material, yielding essential insights into how this barrier protects Earth from cosmic rays. The spacecraft pinpointed a location called the termination, shock, the point where solar winds condense, slow down, and terminate. Beyond that lies the heliosheath, a turbulent region where interstellar and solar particles meet. Collisions bring about a dynamic environment. Voyager 2's expedition also greatly enhanced our understanding of the outer solar system. It's close. Pass by the giant planets offered critical observations, especially regarding Uranus's magnetic field, which was discovered to be inclined in an unexpected manner that defied existing theories. These findings have stimulated further research into planetary attraction. These endeavors not only advanced scientific insight, but also rekindled public fascination with space exploration. Hypnotic images of distant planets and the captivating. Stories behind these missions inspired countless individuals across generations. Iconic visuals like Saturn's elegant rings and Jupiter's volcanic moons have become emblematic, encouraging new scientists and aspiring explorers. As the Voyager spacecraft continue transmitting exceptional information, their extended investigation of interstellar realms offers unmatched opportunities to decipher the universe's fundamental nature. Although prior emphasis was often placed on the planets within our solar system, Delving into interstellar regions has revealed surprising complexity. Zones once presumed void are now known to demonstrate complex phenomena that challenge conventional scientific approaches. One of the most intriguing findings is the detection of cosmic rays originating from beyond our solar system. These highly charged particles, moving nearly at the speed of light, provide clues about processes occurring in remote parts of the galaxy. By examining their energy levels and composition, Scientists aim to better understand the dynamics of distant stellar nurseries and galactic behavior. In addition to entering interstellar territory, the onboard instruments of the Voyagers continue to evaluate the density and movement of the interstellar medium, the diffuse matter of gas and dust that occupies the space between stars. This material interacts with the solar wind and shapes the heliosphere's configuration. As the probes navigate through it, they relay invaluable information that helps researchers model how energy and matter operate across cosmic distances. These contributions have also unveiled essential details about magnetic fields in interstellar space, bringing their properties to light and shedding insight into their influence. These revelations could eventually drive breakthroughs in understanding magnetic forces throughout the galaxy. The ongoing exploration of these distant frontiers not only extends our scientific comprehension, but also inspires future generations of space enthusiasts, scientists, and engineers. The unforgettable images obtained by Voyager, especially the renowned pale blue dot depicting Earth from more than six billion kilometers away, serve as a humbling illustration of our tiny presence in the cosmos. These photographs, used in conjunction with the mission's scientific advancements, have profoundly changed the way we see the world and our position in the universe. 
the success of the Voyager missions has paved the way for even more ambitious projects. Thanks to the advancements developed during their expeditions, launching sophisticated probes to more remote corners of the galaxy is becoming an increasingly attainable goal. Ambitions such as traveling farther, potentially identifying exoplanets, habitable worlds, and even interstellar travel are steadily evolving from visionary concepts into practical objectives for the future of cosmic discovery.